Hello there, my name's Ashley Shaw, and it seems to me that today, British Prime Minister David Cameron has turned himself into the Donald Trump of Britain, much to his shame. Today he has shown beyond any doubt that the man is an uneducated, bigoted Islamophobe. Um, what he has done today, he has come out with a magnificent initiative under which he is going to pay £2 million to, to teach English to Muslim women. Because he says that if Muslim women do not learn to speak English within the first two and a half years of living here, they can be thrown out of the country. Well, there is so much wrong with that statement on its own. And we'll, we'll start with this. First of all, Mr. Cameron quotes 22% of Muslim women. 22%. It's only 22%. What's that anyway? But secondly, he's only talking about Muslim women. What about every the people from every other country? There are people from all over the world come to Britain, all over the world. And for me, they're all welcome. But what gets to me is that he's saying it doesn't matter that Japanese people don't speak English. It doesn't matter that Polish people don't speak English. It doesn't matter that any other country or religion doesn't speak English. Just Muslim women. And what about men? What about men that don't speak English? What a ridiculous, what a ridiculous statement to come out with. If that isn't scaremongering, stirring up, not scaremongering, but stirring up trouble, I don't know what is. I don't know what is. That is blatant Islamophobia. That is, you know, how can you not see that? That is blatant Islamophobia. He is singling out Muslim women. And on his own calculation, only 22% of them don't speak English. Well, so what? This is not anything to do with segregation. It has got nothing to do with terrorism, because that's what he's trying to link it to. He's trying to link it to terrorism. He is saying that by Muslim women not speaking English, it's enabling terrorism. I have never heard such a load of absolute twaddle in my entire life. And this is what else he went to go on to say. So bear with me, please. I need to put my glasses on. He also went on to say segregation the Prime Minister says, is allowing appalling practices such as female genital mutilation and forced marriage to exist and increasing vulnerability to recruitment by the so-called Islamic State. And I'm taking a breath there because I just cannot believe what I've read. And I'm going to tackle them one by one. Segregation. What is segregation? To me, segregation is this. Chinese people all live together in a little area. That's lovely. Polish people can all live together in a little area. That's lovely. White people, white non, just white British people all live together in a little area. Occasionally and thankfully, we get into mingling, which is wonderful and which thankfully is, is, happens most of the time. But you'll find anywhere, anywhere you go, anywhere around the world, people do gravitate towards their own, their own people that speak their own language have the same culture. So that's the first thing, segregation, it seems to be very one way here and against Muslims, when quite frankly, we know people, it's quite normal for people to live with people that are like themselves. It doesn't mean Muslims are any less integrating than any other sort of people. Then the next thing I am absolutely disgusted with, and I've got this directly off the BBC website, this isn't something that I've made up. This is what the BBC website have reported him as saying. It, Muslim women not speaking English is allowing appalling practices such as female genital mutilation. Female genital mutilation. I can't even say it. I'm that angry. How dare he? There, one. Genital female mutilation is cultural. It is not Islamic. It is cultural. Secondly, the practice is actually carried out mainly, the majority, by Christian countries. Christian countries. It's a cultural thing, not an Islamic thing. And there, that shows just how uneducated this man really is about Islam. If he can say that as if, as if making 22% of women speak English is going to stop that. How dare he? How dare he? I mean, I can't believe he actually said that. Speaking English is not going to stop female genital mutilation. Speaking English has got nothing to do with any of this. This is David Cameron yet again, yet again, 
putting doubt into the community of, 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 the, the, of the country about innocent Muslim people. And he said, and an increasing vulnerability to the recruitment to the so-called Islamic State. He really does think. He really said that. He really said that. Making 22% of Muslim women speak English is going to solve the world's problems. No more. No more recruitment to Islamic State. No, sorry, ISIS. I've said Islamic State because he calls it that. They're not a state and they're not Islamic. But ISIS, he actually really believes that. He actually really said that. He's, I can't get my head around. That is the, that is the Prime Minister of Britain. You know, David, right now, you should be having the backs of the British Muslims because since November, since November and the Paris attacks, the rise in actual physical attack on British, British Muslims has risen threefold to nearly 500 attacks since November. And you, you with this nonsense are perpetuating the nonsense that puts that there in the first place. One, you want to look at white British extremism. That's on the rise. That's on the rise. I'm more worried about white British extremists than I am from any Muslims. Secondly, I know, you know, I'm fortunate. I've got lots and lots of Muslim friends and an awful lot of them are Muslim women. And they are not being mutilated in any kind, way, shape or form. He also says in this that it's increasing, it's, it would help solve forced marriages. One, that's not Islamic either. Hindus have marriages that are arranged, do not mistake forced for arranged. You know, that's, speaking English isn't going to stop that either. It's cultural, not Islamic. And David Cameron, shame on you. Because you are putting doubt into people's minds when you should be standing up for the Muslim community of Britain. Because they're the ones, they're the ones that are under threat at the moment. You know, I, I'm, I'm at a loss. I don't want a fascist as my prime minister. You are a disgrace to British values, David Cameron. A disgrace to British values. Shame on you. Shame on you. I'm sorry, I'm going to have to go because I really just want to swear. I, I, I can't cope anymore. So I got all that out. I needed to because I cannot believe that. I can't believe that he actually said that. I'm shaking. I'm that angry. I'm shaking. I'm that angry. I mean, it sounds like Hitler, for God's sake. That sounds like Hitler. And that I don't want that as, as my Prime Minister. Do you? Do you?